The world is changing. We need to change with it. Soon there's gonna be barber shops that are getting AI haircuts. Ooh, what kind of deal? You should just get AI to run the show. Shh. We all need haircuts. This is a rare case. This is like a once in maybe six month opportunity. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna transform our, all of our lives. We're gonna give everybody a haircut. Everybody gets the coolest haircut. You can pick whatever you want, mm -hmm. except for Steven. Bro, what? Nobody wants to see you get a cool I'm haircut. They wanna see you bro, get a funny TV haircut. Show tomorrow. Yeah, and I have a date with a hot girl. Let's not waste time here. We've got a lot of haircuts to do and not much time to do them. All right, real quick, before we continue, I wanna ask you guys a question. Have you ever Googled yourself and been shocked to see your personal information exposed? Well, Aura's here to help. Data brokers are making a fortune on selling your data to spammers, telemarketers, all types of internet scumbags that are trying to steal your data and profit off of it. Put some people up here on the wall. That's why I'm excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can detect data brokers, anybody that's looking to get your information. It'll run your social security number, your email, your name, find out where it's popping up, suspicious activity going on. It targets it, attacks, protects you. You need to have Aura in your life, otherwise things are gonna end bad. So get to it, get to the point, let Aura take care of it. Get, get your life on track, man. Don't be a dummy not caring about your data. You know who doesn't care about their data? You care about your data? Nah, fam. And look at him, a dumb kid. You wanna be like him or you wanna be like me? All right, thank you Aura for sponsoring this episode. Go to Aura.com slash Jeff Barbershop and get a two week free trial right now. Try it out for yourself. Thank you Aura for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. What do you want to do? Um, I brought a reference photo. <laughs> what? Well, I, I can't hang out with you no more. That's what I want Bro, to Bro, you can't like. be a comedian and try to be cool. I'm not trying to be cool. Pick, I'm a, changing pick my a thing, image. pick a thing. Funny I'm changing or cool. my image. Funny or cool. It can't be both. Funny or cool. What are you going to be? Both. I'm funny and cool. And I like Joe Jonas. He's a respectable guy. I want to look like that. And if I get this haircut, I feel like I can look like give that. Give me that haircut, bro. Come on. I'll give you that fucking haircut. Why don't we try a fun game? You guys see that new power slap contest that's going around? Dana White. It's super easy. It's sick. It's entertaining. We flip a coin out of YouTube. Oh, no. It's all fun and games. Everybody has a good time. It's only slaps. Would you be down? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Ready? You first. Don't slap. No, you go first. Good you go first. No, 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 no. You got to wind up. You have to right, there you go. That is slaps. You have to go like this. Hey, one. I won't strike you immediately after. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'll punch you. So are us four like who you envisioned being like your guys? You know, I was just thinking that in my head. I was like, how did I end up here? So are you happy that we're, it's like us four? At least you guys are here sticking around. You know, you're, you're real, you're loyal. You know, we're real friends. I could count on you. If goes down, you're gonna be having my back. You're gonna fight. If I need a f***ing prank a guest, you're down to show them your dick, no matter how long you know them for. You don't even know if they're gonna f***ing call the cops on yeah, you when you show them your dick. Yeah, yeah it's and publicly you do, out there. We need contracts. What's the contract supposed to say? He forced me to show my dick? Is that what you want? No, no, we're allowed to do whatever we want to them. We can show it flash your penises. I don't think you could put that in a contract. I'm allowed to expose myself to you at any time. <laughs> That's what Steven wants the talent release to say. And no females. What if she wants to see it? No. You never show a girl she asked? No. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Sure. What? Your you shit's so backwards. <laughs> Look at this. There's a nice satisfying shot right here. I f***ed up a little. I'd like it if my barber didn't say that. It's too short. It's too short? You want to put more back on? Should I put some back on? It's too short, Jeff. Should I put some back oh, on? Oh, f*** me. Should I put some back on? Oh, I look like you. <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness! Bro, this, is, this like, might possibly, and I'm like, this is a bad air <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. It's my fault for wanting to go cool. Bro, it ain't bad. What do you give it on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, it's 2. I give it like. Dude, isn't that bad, Ryan? <laughs> if you had my hair and you wanted a haircut and look cool, what would you do? It's like your younger brother has a date Shave with a my girl, head and, and you myself. want him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. If, if you're, you. like, look at me like, like a little brother, right, and I have a date with a girl, and you want me to look presentable. What if we do Pauly D spikes? A lot. You like Jersey Shore? No, I never watched it. Okay, okay I'll give him the Dana White. Fuck it. Does the girl you're taking on a date know that you're taking her on a date? Yeah. <laughs> you said date. Yeah. You said I want to go on a date with you. Didn't say a date. 
I'm just making that up. So we're going horseback riding one on one. So you didn't That's tell her. She not, so she thinks he might be just hanging out. It's a one on one horse. What does she think of that as? Just friends hanging out? No. Does she have an only? F yeah. <laughs> what is she gonna promote the horses on her only? F oh yeah, fuck my horse. <laughs> no, she's not gonna promote the horses on the only. F she's gonna promote her only f on the horses. You dummy. How don't you see that you're being taken advantage of? I'm giving you a f up haircut. I don't want you with this girl. <laughs> Dude, this, you really? We're coming in confident. <laughs> For leaving insecure. <laughs> it's the opposite of what a barbershop is. <laughs> Yo, literally. <laughs> oh, I don't like that at all. Yo, it looks sick. Yo. It looks like a pineapple. That's the reaction I fing like right Yo, there. That makes my sick. day. That makes Yo. me You know what makes me proud of myself. <laughs> Yo, I look sick. Yeah. <laughs> We're not well maybe let's finish. Yeah, you look cool and funny. Say bruh. <laughs> bruh. He's funny, dude, and he looks cool as f. Oh, the back's f***ed up. Oh, never mind. No, it's your head. Oh, that does look sick. <laughs> That's like a fat roll in your head. <laughs> Appreciate it, cuz. Anytime, my man. Whoosh. I, I, I want to film. You sure? Don't drop that, Steven. It costs more than your life. If you break that, you'll be working it off for years. I would just kill myself. We'll run away. <laughs> oh, yeah, that wasn't uneven. Yep. Damn. The last guy cut your hair was he blind. Yep. I just want to wear a hat anymore, you know? I'm, I'm going to have to start. Shut your mouth, Ryan. You're fucking super negative today. Yeah. I spend an hour and a half cutting your hair, and that's how you repay me? What? So I'm gonna have to start wearing You insult my work. You insult- I'm not insulting your work. I'm insulting my face. That's good. Insult your own face. I didn't make that. You want to get mad at somebody? Call up your mother. You don't even know what my mom looks like. I, of course I do. You crazy? I've talked to your mom on the phone several times. My mom's a man. Hey, Ryan, try not to make this episode all about yourself. Got it. Kyle, what's your favorite thing about Oscar? Uh, that he's very smart. Wow. But, okay. What's your favorite thing about Jeff? That I'm employed. Money. That's it. I gotta pay people to hang out with me. You are a piece of <laughs> No, actually, it's money for me? The no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this one? You definitely fill the void of the fatherless figure I have in my life. Okay. I, I, I definitely get that. I definitely yeah. feel that. You fill the void of a, a sonless character in my life because I don't have a kid. <laughs> I never heard that before, but yeah. Well, I, don't, I mean, uh, I am a very fatherly like guy, I like taking care of you guys. I no, like, like if I'm having like, like kids. No, you're like an older brother to me, not a father. Well, yeah, that too. Same shit. You guys are not my no, it's genetic just... build. This yeah. is not my bloodline. I feel like you would be adopted foster children that I took in. But you don't care for us as much as... Yeah, I do, I do. No, that's what happens. You take in a foster dog, you end up loving them more. A foster child. I said dog. Sorry. And foster brother. Like a younger <laughs> foster brother. That doesn't even make sense. Favorite thing about Ryan. I like being creative with Ryan. He's creative. Yeah, I do. I do really think Ryan is funny. He's like a smart comedian. You know, he studies the art of it, and he's very talented at the writing. I think he will be the most successful in comedy. This That's is what, what he I, wants. He's making you all feel bad, so you start talking good about him. Steven, you had your moment. Let me give <laughs> Ryan a nice one because he might go and alive himself tonight with that haircut. <laughs> My favorite thing about you, Steven, is um, you're like my best friend. I value our friendship, even though you don't value it as much. You know what's my favorite thing about you? What? Nada! <laughs> <laughs> you know what's my favorite thing about Oscar? <laughs> Didn't ask, no one asked. Innovating, hardworking, loyal. <laughs> <laughs> you're just thinking of vocab words. Innovating. <laughs> 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 60s. 60s? Oh, so whoa, that actually looks pretty good. Damn. Yeah, and pretty you have hat hair right now too. It's like not going No, right I now. love this fucking thing. This thing yeah, yeah, it looks good. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity that everybody needed haircuts. Mm -hmm. And now the posse bonded. It was a good, what did you call it? Team building experience? Team bond, team exercise. It's a good team exercise. building experience. We all had a great time, except for Ryan. Um, so this was nice, I had a good time. We still gotta get Oscar. Yeah. What? You don't want one. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it because you don't want it? Because you don't like my haircuts or? Why is it pan to me? Oscar, what's one of the things that you uh, would like to change about me? One thing? Yep. Be honest. Put it out. You could gain a little weight. What the f You're going to body shame me? <laughs> That's what you're going to go for? Body shaming? I you got mental more. problems. I probably do have an eating disorder. Yeah, you eat like once a day and run 17 miles. All right, Oscar, you're done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this shit got real, real quick. I got one more trick up my sleeve. This is a posse haircut episode, and I need to get a haircut too. So, I'm gonna do it myself. Get up out of that chair. I'm gonna cut my own hair. It's time to evolve. It's time to change. This mullet has been 
copied by just about everybody. Every wannabe Jeff out there, show a picture of one of them. Look, I popularized the mullet. I'm not saying I created it. I'm saying that I, I made it cool again. I am now gonna make something else cool. Say something cool for you, eh? It's a big Say moment. Say something cool? Say something fucked up. Like the Joker. Like from Batman. I just wanna see the world burn. No, don't say what he said. Say something like it. It's time to change. Um, Like Taxi Driver. Get Robert De Niro, you know? Feel it. Your legacy is riding on this moment. This is comparable to Jesus' crucifixion. What, dude? All right, here we go. Sorry I didn't warn you guys, but it's not like we got a warning on 9-11. You know? The what? plane just fucking what? hit the towers. I don't know, bro. I was trying to have like a badass thing. That's you know? not badass. Like, what? you're just bringing up tragedies and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. All right, the time for change is now. What was Jesus' last name? Christ. Oscar, give me a cool line to say before I cut my hair. Is it the time? Can you just Google like badass movie quotes or something like badass lines i always knew i wanted to be a gangster all right fuck it yolo no 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 <laughs> yeah you know you only live once you know no that's yeah but that sucks like what are you 2010 drake like what this is, is a cool moment you're gonna ruin a cool moment with the drake quote with yolo drake didn't make up yolo and he popularized all right fuck it. i'm just gonna go in on it wait slow down slow down the framing right no say that say wait wait slow down slow down <laughs> Wait. A real barber cuts his own hair. Did you see the Miami video? If I truly want to, I'm heard having heard a moment. Are you, why, why, why can't you just let me have this one moment? You know. I can't believe it. Are you kidding me? We're good. We evolved. Time for change. And we changed. I just want to go to burn a man and suck my own dick. I just want to go to burn a man and suck my own dick on a spaceship.